Hi there, this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films and welcome to another video on Kurosawa. Um, a couple of weeks ago I did a video about the possibility of Kurosawa on 4K or more films coming um, on 4K on Kurosawa because uh, in June um, or before June there's some um, Japanese 4Ks no English subtitles. Um, and during that video, I mentioned that Amazon.fr, or Amazon France, had some Kurosawa Blu-ray media books, which of course I was never going to buy because they don't have English subtitles. And in my shame, I don't speak Japanese. And my French is very, very um, small, um, quel dommage, obviously. And, and there's no way I was going to buy them, because that would be ridiculous, even though some of the titles um, aren't on Blu-ray. Um, so I accidentally bought a couple just to see what they were like. You know, they're not hugely expensive. Um and it was just to see what they're like. So I'm just going to go through um, the couple of um, titles that I did buy from Amazon.fr. Um, there's another one still on the post because that was another one that I just bought just to see what they were like. Um, so the first one is Yojimbo, which of course isn't available in Blu-ray anywhere else in the world. Um, apart from Criterion and BFI and stuff like that. But this, they all have nice coloured spines. They all have this beautiful artwork, including on the cover. Um, they have the AK. Um, you have the Blu-ray disc, again, lovely colours. Um, and you also have a DVD. But inside, again, it is in French, but again, I can kind of follow it. You have essays, and you have just beautiful, glossy pictures, artwork. Um, I mean, they are just lovely, lovely images from the film, because as I've said before, you could literally pause any Kurosawa film, print it, stick it up in an art gallery um, because the shot composition is just superb. Um, I mean, look at that shot. It's So I was rather impressed um, by this media book. So as I say, I just got a couple of them. Um, so here we have Ikiru or Vivre. Yeah, strangely enough, the French of Yojimbo is Yojimbo and this again is a nice coloured spine and um, you can see the artwork in the back again we're going a little bit purple here with the Blu-ray and don't forget the DVD um, and again there's just beautiful images um, just tremendous photographs um, and again, there's essays. Um, there's Kurosawa with a smile on his face. Um, he's obviously realised that he's making a masterpiece. Again. Just beautiful, beautiful. But also, Akiru um, is available in Blu-ray in other places. But then, I accidentally bought a few more. Because these titles aren't available in Blu-ray for some bizarre reason. Obviously they're available in Blu-ray in Japan, obviously. Um, but it was really for these two, because these are amongst my favourite of his early 
films um, and this is Drunken Angel now obviously the film stock that Kurosawa was using for his earlier films you know they are a bit scratch and but this is the best Drunken Angels ever looked um, despite it's still got some scratches and stuff but that just gives you some authenticity of the film stock again blu-ray dvd and again this is just wonderful again more essays um, and more images of the great um, Mifune and Takeshi Shimura So this is just wonderful to have in Blu-ray. And yes, I don't speak Japanese, I don't speak fluent French. But it really makes you focus on the camera movement, the dynamic camera of Kurosawa, the compositional eye of Kurosawa. And these are films that I've watched so many times. You know, you might not pick up every single word, but you you know what's going on. Um, and two more powerhouse performances um, by those two wonderful actors and then the other one which is perhaps my favourite early Kurosawa is of course um, Stray Dog um, just tremendous again lovely colour on the spine the Blu-ray the DVD and of course just Wonderful stills, images, um, and essays. This film is just so wonderful. Um, even at this stage of his career, you could tell we're dealing with a a master craftsman at work, um, and just two wonderful performances by the leads. So that's Stray Dog again. So happy to get that on Blu-ray. Best Stray Dogs um, ever looked. Obviously Criterion have has it in DVD, but not in Blu-ray. And then again, two more. And um, this is a double feature. Um, this is No Regrets for Our Youth, and the Men Who Step on the Tiger's Tail. Again, not available on Blu-ray outside of Japan I don't believe obviously I could be wrong and again you get the DVDs and you get the Blu-ray with both films because the men who's treading the tiger's tail is only under 70 minutes but again beautiful stills I mean you could argue I'm trying to convince myself but I'm not because these are absolutely beautiful and again I said they're not hugely expensive either um, and then this one Again, I only have this on DVD, and this is the best this one's looked. Probably one of the Kurosawa films I've watched the least, so I'll quickly have to start my Japanese course, um, which I'm hoping to do um, before I go to Japan at some point. Um, I would quite like to buy a one-way ticket to Japan at some point, and then... Um, kill myself in a cherry orchard somewhere that's the dream anyway so this is um, I Live in Fear could um, Mifune playing a much older gentleman I mean you could argue that perhaps Shimura would have been the better choice but Mifune does it in Mifune ways but you could argue this would be a film that Shimura could have perhaps been better casting um, but again you still get the wonderful essays and just gorgeous stills um, and then Kurosawa's first colour film De Desca Den which strangely enough translates in French as De, De Desca Den because De Desca Den is the sound of a train on the tracks De Desca Den, De Desca Den yep and again colour images a wonderful ochre colour in the book and again stunning stills yes this was the film that was a complete failure and 
forced Kurosawa to um, have a suicide attempt. This will be the first film that I will be covering in my Kurosawa After Mifune series that I've been talking about for the last three years, I think. Again, beautiful stills. And that is the desk again. And then finally, we have um, One Wonderful Sunday and The Most Beautiful. Um, the Most Beautiful, again, I covered, you can go find on my channel um, Early Kurosawa or Kurosawa Before Rashomon. Um, it's where I talked about these films. Probably the most beautiful is one of his weakest early films, but One Wonderful Sunday is just a lovely little film from 1947. And again, the Blu-ray and the DVD are included. And again, you get essays. Um, and again, wonderful images. And again, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best that these two films have ever looked. Um, so if you speak Japanese or French, or both, um, these are just wonderful media books um, to pick up. If you know Kurosawa's work, um, you know, you can watch them with a smattering of French, or a smattering of Japanese for that matter. Um, the Lower Depths is still um, coming. Just to check out um, what it's like, of course, um, just as I had to check out what those other ones um, are like. I believe there is a Throne of Blood, but that see, that is actually very expensive. Um, I can't remember whether there's a red beard. I may just go um, to Amazon.fr just to check, obviously, if there is a red beard. Because, um, again, that really ought to be in Blu-ray, but for some reason it's not. So thanks very much for watching this um, research video. Um, I spend the money so you don't have to. But again, these are these are beautiful French uh, media books of Kurosawa films for the most part that you can't get on English language um, Blu-ray or with English subtitles, I should say. Yeah, I wasn't being a proponent of watching dubbed Kurosawa films for goodness sake. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Please leave comments below. Um, try not to be too abusive. It's not my fault. Um, it's Amazon.fr's fault. Um, and everybody else's fault for not releasing these films in Blu-ray earlier. And then I wouldn't have had to do this. But again, rest assured, they're not massively expensive. So it wasn't really um, that much of an expensive um, research exercise just to see what they're like, obviously. Um, so thanks very much for watching. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films saying farewell.